it's brand new. It's a brand new video. It just, it just it, guys, this is breaking news. Guys, this video got posted as, as the stream is on. Boom. Live. Holy. Live on air. Insane hot off the press. I can't believe it, dude. First to view it. Insane. Did I say two ninety two ninety three? Yes. Okay. And on line twenty two, you were asked a question the night before. Is this giant death suspected Amber Erd was having an affair with James Franco? We're due to meet up. Oh, that's too far. Did you have a heated discussion on the telephone with Miss Yo. Erd about what was happening with James Franco. Wait, unlock the scene she was doing with James James Franco. Answer: I do not recall, but it is highly likely. Did I read that right? In fact, I'm not sure where well, you are. Why don't you come to Maine? Okay. Um, day so, two, page two. It's so these days. It's on page 32 of the document. Line 22, I think, is the page. Page 32, line 22. Thank you, Your Honor. Line 22. Line okay. 22 on page 32. Yes. Too many, too, too many numbers. Are you there? Uh, yes, yes, okay. yes. Okay, so, question. The night before you were due to meet up, did you have a heated discussion on the telephone <laughs> with Miss Hurd about what was happening with James Franco, the scene she was doing with James Franco? Answer, I do not recall, but it is highly likely. Did I read that right? You did. And you... Hold up. Let me just uh, adjust the suspected audio. ...that Amber was having an affair with James Franco, correct? That was uh, the reason for your argument. Um... Yeah, yes. And when you got on the plane, you considered that she was also being judgmental toward you because she believed that you were inebriated and under the influence of drugs, correct? That was a constant. And I'm talking about this particular plane flight. Well, still You considered constant. that she was being judgmental toward you because she believed you were inebriated and under the influence of drugs when you got on this plane, correct? Y yes. And at some point on the flight, you ended up sleeping on the bathroom floor, right? I did. You testified to that yesterday, correct? I did, yes, sir. And when you landed, you were, you were quite ill when you landed in Los Angeles, correct? I don't recall being quite ill. Um, I, it's possible. I don't know uh, what you're referring to. Let's Maybe take you a look take at me there. Page, yeah, sure. Let's take a look at page 313 of your UK transcript. Please. Oh my God, UK Andy. I knew he was gonna do that. It's on page 37 of the document. May we approach Three, your honor? All right, I'm sorry. approach for a second. Oh no, come on, man. 13. Line 14 that starts with the word were. Go, go, yeah. God skip again? I'm, I'm a God skipper? And then read that question and answer. She's about to cry? Yeah, I mean, she has terrible old economy. We know this already. Yes, sir. Does that refresh your recollection that you were quite ill when you landed in Los Angeles? Um, Her timings are so off. Huh? Yes, it, uh, but it doesn't uh, refer to the, me being ill on the plane. Um, sure. Okay. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll get to the plane ride in a few minutes. Oh, I um, we just did. Let's, let's turn to exhibit 236, please. Defendant's exhibit. Sorry, I've got a mess going on over here. I've, uh, yeah. It's on the screen. Oh, and I don't have a mess. So excuse me. <clears throat> These are text messages that you sent to Amber on May 25th, 2014, the day after that plane flight, correct? Okay. Yes, okay, yes. 
Um, Your Honor, uh, move for the admission of Exhibit 236 and ask for permission to publish oh, with, you the, motherfucker. Um, with the identifier. Fucking Michelle Stahl again. And in this email to Amber, the day after this plane flight, you write her and you say, once again, I find my place, sorry, start over. Once again, I find myself in a place of shame and regret. Of course, I am sorry. I really don't know why or what happened, but I will never do it again. I want to get better for you and for me. I must. My illness somehow crept up and grabbed me. I can't do it again. I can't oh live like that God. again. Oh, my God. And I know you can't either. I must get better. And I will. For us both, starting today, I love you. Again, I'm so sorry. So sorry. I love you and feel so bad for letting you down. Yours. Did I read that right? You did. And let's pull up exhibit 245 one more time, which has uh, been admitted into evidence uh, this morning, Your Honor. Why is he trying to correlate the thing that, he, that the illness came to illness on the plane? Wait, that doesn't make sense. Mr. Depp, I know that we've seen this before this mm -hmm. morning, um, but your email that I just read to you to Miss Heard or your text was from May 25th, 2014. Five days later, you text your good friend Paul Bettany and you tell him that you had drank all night before you picked up Amber to fly to LA. You tell him that you had had no food for days powders, just cocaine, right? Powders, sure. just cocaine, right? Sure. Yeah. Half a <laughs> bottle of whiskey, a thousand Red Bull and vodkas, pills, two bottles of champers on plane, and then you write, what do you get? An angry aggro engine in a fucking blackout, screaming obscenities and insulting any fuck who got near. I am, I'm done. I am admittedly too fucked in the head to spray my rage at the one I love. I For little that. reason as well. Mm. I'm too old to be that guy, but pills are fine. Did I read that right? You did. We saw this? We just saw this, now, yeah. The two bottles, you can, well, you can leave that up. The two bottles of champagne on the plane, that was about when you wrote two bottles of champagne on the plane, that was about the plane it's ride. Just as she wasn't coming in LA, correct? Yes, it comes just after a thousand cans of Red Bull. And at least two, at least parts of that plane flight, you were in a blackout, right? There's a the. There's no reason you tell Paul Bettany that you were in a blackout if it wasn't true, correct? There are, are again when I. When I write something, when I write a text, uh, especially if I'm in a um, particularly impassioned uh, place, it's 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 a canvas, it's a painting. Right. You I, choose I appreciate your Appreciate that. That wasn't my question, sir. I, my question was very simple. Okay. Would you agree that at least on parts of that plane flight, you were in a blackout? Uh, no, I wouldn't agree that I'm in a, I was in a blackout. Okay, I would let's say look at page 333. Blackout and when you're on opiates. I, let's look at page guys, 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 I feel like I know exactly what you're saying. I think everybody knows, except the lawyer is trying really hard not to understand it. Of your transcript. I feel like everybody got the message in the, in the courtroom. Okay. Literally, every single person that's in there. This is day two. This is. He gets me. it. He's 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 kind of fucked. He's whatever. It's, it, things are happening. Things are kind of crazy. Yo, bro, I'm in a, I'm in a, I'm, I'm, I'm blacked out. Let me say, let me say to somebody, dude, last night, dude, I was like blacked out drunk. Did you black out? Uh, no, you did not. You, that just didn't happen. So what? Uh, I don't know. UK trial. Yes, we seem to be there a lot. It's like saying it. 
Yo, I got so mad, guys. I was seeing red. Okay, uh, which shade of red? Um, well, I wasn't seeing red. Does that mean that you're lying? You're lying then. What shade of what shade of red? Uh, are you fucking stupid? Your Honor, may we approach, please? Okay. But part you were asked a question, question, but parts of that flight are blacked out. Answer, apparently, but yes, apparently that is what I am saying to Mr. Bettany. Question, yes. Is there any reason why you would say that to Mr. Bettany if it were not true? Answer, probably not. Did I read that right? You did. And it's, you would agree that on that flight you were very drunk and that you had taken drugs either before or during the flight, correct? I know that I, w well, I, I knew that I was going to have a very ugly, um, I was going to end up with a very ugly situation with Amber. So Mr. Depp, I with, with respect, the, um, trying to respect the court's time and the jury's time, that was not my question. My question was, always oh, not. You, you would agree. You, no. you would agree. Okay, th okay, this is a lawyer from Wish. Nobody, guys, nobody would fall, nobody falls for this. Situation with Amber. Him, so, him saying he's going to respect people's time because he won't let them do a, a, a small uh, a anecdote for 10 seconds when he rants about Michelle pulling up a, a text that's irrelevant for fucking eight hours? Come on, Mr. Devin, with, That's just fucking I stupid. To respect the court's time and the jury's time. That was not my question. Nobody my question falls for that. You, 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 you would agree. You would agree. You would agree that on that flight, you were very drunk and you had taken drugs either before or during, or both. Objection right. compound. All right, sustained. You would agree that you were very drunk on that flight, correct? I do not agree that I was very drunk on that flight. And you would agree that you had taken drugs either before or during that flight, correct? I had taken a double dose of the um, roxycodone, which is different than a blackout. You... But, but you don't agree that you were very drunk? I, I don't recall drinking a whole, you don't need to drink a okay. whole lot when you're on those things you, uh, oh, you don't have time you, you just wouldn't. testified you weren't drunk on the on the flight okay i, I don't recall being drunk no. all right let's let's look at page 335 of your uk testimony okay mr rodman <laughs> where would you like to start line 11 please uh, jesus you were asked a question I want to question. I want to make sure it is quite clear what you are saying about the Boston plane incident. You were very drunk. You had taken drugs either before or during or both. Do you agree with that? Answer: Sure. For the purposes of getting through this, let's say yes. Everything you have said, I agree. Did yes, I read that right? He said one you though. Did. Wait, that wasn't precise. Um, what? I was caving in. From yeah, that, that, that's I my know, question was simply did I read yes, that yes, correctly, yes, Mr. Depp? I understand. Now, um, well, you said or. On. Uh, can we pull up um, Exhibit 243, please? Actually, no. You know what? Let's go to, to Exhibit 221. Nah, they're Your both Honor, sleeping in the back. Is they're both sleeping in the back, man. Dude, the guys, the guys. These are two standard sleeping techniques. The lay back, arms down, and the head. Actually, palm no, you know let's on go to, forehead. To exhibit 221. Look, you'll see, you'll see it, you'll see it. This is a very elaborate technique. That one, that one, look at it. That one. Your Honor, uh, this, that's a good is, one. Um, this is a recording, um, and I, I'd be happy to read. We're going to play three, three uh, Holy. excerpts from it. Okay, and there's no objection to the entire audio recording coming in. Is that correct? Um, Kim. Can, may we approach? I would just like to know what it you is first. You mother sucker. Your Honor, um, we would offer the, the full exhibit 221 uh, okay. into evidence with the following two minutes and 50 seconds. Uh oh, here it comes. It's going to be loud.
That's your voice making those moaning sounds sound like an animal in pain, right, Mr. Depp? That's, uh, that's, that's exactly what I uh, said before. Yes, that is uh, sounds like a pained animal. Let's and it go is to my voice. Please. Is that, is that? That's it. And then let's go to play 930, please. What the fuck is the point of this anyway? Yeah, exactly. And why the fuck are they recording this shit anyway? Who, who recorded this shit? Mr. Depp, do you know who the male voice is um, who at around 941 says, no, I'm going to stay with this fucking idiot in case he gets sick? Do you know whose voice oh, that was? Oh, I didn't hear those words. Okay. But, um, um, All right. Nobody yes, heard that. Jerry Judge, if you wanted me to answer that. That was Jerry Judge's voice. Okay. Yeah. So you, you, you finish this flight. You send the text that we've seen to Amber. You send the text to Paul Bettany. And... Uh, at some point after this, you decide that you want to go to detox. And you went to detox. Uh, you testified a little bit about it yesterday in August of 2014 uh, in the Bahamas, correct? What was about? The, I thought this was about the affair, man. Noises, so what happened? We got scammed. I got scammed. I want to hear about the affair. No affair. What the fuck is that?